it's literally so empty in here. Wow. So I'm finally at Sydney airport. I'm about to board my flight to Tokyo from Tokyo and then go to Frankfurt and then Amsterdam. For the first three weeks, I'm training just outside of Amsterdam. And then I go across to Belgium to train in Mons just outside of Brussels. And then I travel to Germany most weekends for my Bundesliga meets. Um, I have a few other ones planned a few other competitions in there, like the Waste Cup in Belgium, and I have my first competition next week, which is the Netherlands World Championships Trials, so it'll be really cool and exciting, um, yeah, it's super empty, there's like, only like 10 people on my flight that I can see, it's really weird, it's like a ghost town, double mask because I'm paranoid and I haven't been around COVID yet, um, living in Queensland, there hasn't been cases, so it's gonna be very strange. But I'm sure I got used to it and vaccinated, so I'll just trust that and I will keep masked up where I can. I guess this is it. I'll just keep you guys updated throughout throughout my trip and um see you all in the flat. So I'm currently having my dinner. I got a soup, I got a coffee, and then I got this really good like lamb and beef hamburger and some other thing. Um, I'm in premium economy, but there's basically no one here. As you can see, um, which is amazing, I have so much space, so much like room, some entertainment, I'm good, I'm good, I have uni work to do, it's only an 8 hour flight, I'm just trying to like adjust to the time zone a little bit in Europe, but 8 hours behind, so I'm just going to hold up a little bit for sleep and then just kind of try and get some in. It's kind of sad, because I know it's not that good, but I've actually missed like plain food. clean up, brush my teeth, do all that stuff. The lounge opens in a couple hours, so I'll go into there. I have like an eight hour stopover, so this is gonna be a long day for me. I can't see anything. <laughs> so quiet here as well. I've seen maybe like five people besides airport stuff. Uh, it's like a ghost town, it's the same as Sydney. It's such a strange feeling. Um, but my flight was really chill, had decent food, and I slept for about five hours. Uh, I was gonna try and like get into the European time zone, but it was a little bit difficult, so I'm like, I'll just get as much sleep as I can, because I arrive in Amsterdam at like 11 p.m. Um, so, I'll just sleep when I get there. I'm staying at Casimir's place, and then the next day I'm going to my apartment in a little town. I wanna say it's Hirovainen, but I know that's not how you pronounce it. I saw a few Paralympians on the plane. I spoke to them doing marathon. One of them is her seventh Olympics. How ridiculous is that? Um, so, good for her. Like, I was not lying when I said it's a ghost town in here. Oh my god, gay pride. Oh my god, exploring Japan. <laughs> You know what, I'm not going to get out of the airport, so this is, this is the closest thing. Maybe I should take Japan off my list. Who doesn't love traveling the streets? I'm in the lounge, I'm about to have, I can't see my butt, okay good. <laughs> I'm about to have a shower. Ugh, it's gonna feel so good. I feel so gross and sweaty and ugh. The lounge is actually not too bad. There's like some snacks over there, some coffee, some drinks, um, couches. I'm probably gonna stretch out like over here. Um, the view's pretty decent. Sleep for the first bit of it and then stay awake for the rest because it's currently like 7am in Europe and it's 
start adjusting. So, yeah. straight to Kaz's place where I am right now. Managed to sleep like seven hours through 7.30 a.m. this morning, which is amazing. So hopefully no jet lag. Yeah, I guess that's the end of the travel vlog. I'm heading over to Hiroving, Hiro Hiro I know, it's a suburb town I'm living in for three weeks. And I'm training at Epka's gym with Rick. Um, so that's gonna be really exciting. And yeah, I'll try and vlog like weekly or fortnightly, depending on how busy I am, um, but it's good to be here, it's good to be here. It's taken a while, but I'm very excited for the next three months. Um, so yeah, be sure to follow along and I'll see you guys around.